Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to be with you here in Berlin. Um, of course, we've seen many stories about the Mafia, about crime families on screen before, but they're often from the male perspective and often glorify um, the misogyny and, and, and the violence. Um, what was the importance for you for telling this story from the female perspective and giving a voice to these real, real women who are very courageous? It is interesting, this TV series, for this reason, I think. But it's not, it's a real story. So, um, how do you say indagini? Le indagini sono state... Investigation? Investigation from this magistrato. How do you say magistrato, sorry? Uh, magistrato as well? Magistrate, yeah. Ma magistrate? Mm -hmm. Or a public prosecutor in this case. What? Public prosecutor. Ah, the public prosecutor who had the idea at the time to, uh, to start investigating on women which was not uh, what they used to do. And she was not, and she was a woman, and she was not, uh, mm, you know, people were, 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 wouldn't really believe that that was the right thing to do. So, uh, so this is a story about that. I think, I think that was genius from her. And, uh, and the fact that, we're, that uh, we're telling that, I think it's very important. Um, but, uh, from, I, I, I see what you mean when you say, you know, usually it's the it's a masculine thing and it's also, um, it seems like, you know, it become here, they become hero, you know, the, the bad guy. Um, uh, I think uh, it's, it's important to, to, to also try to, to tell a story in a different way. And uh, for me, it was just a, a discovery for women. Um, how how I perceived that for me it was it's inter it, so it was very interesting to perceive it from the inside like it was normal uh, like it's not perceived as uh, something wrong but as normality as how things work you know and that w is what interests me the most understanding that it's so cultural that it's so uh, in in the culture that you don't realize that what is going on. Uh, I think that this is the most interesting thing for me, that it's hard to convince certain women that they shouldn't live like that. Did anyone ask what to do? Good Mother is a project very important, very interesting, very strong, because these stories are stories che non le conoscono le persone, cioè il fatto di dare luce a un progetto del genere è come accendere un faro su queste donne eh, che sono cresciute nell'entroterra calabrese, in un mondo chiuso, di omertà, di violenza, di... però allo stesso tempo hanno, sono riuscite con il loro coraggio a, ad affrontare la violenza senza paura e a trasmettere libertà, nel caso del mio personaggio, a sua figlia, rischiando la vita. Però è, è, è una grande, è una grande eh, hanno avuto un grande coraggio di sfidare l'Andrangheta. Quindi se tu sfidi l'Andrangheta eh, contro l'Andrangheta sai che comunque hanno incontro alla morte però con la consapevolezza di liberare qualcos'altro e di dare voce. E questo è un progetto che comunque illumina queste, queste donne. E dobbiamo ringraziarle perché noi ci sentiamo ogni giorno coraggiosi, ma c'è chi ha più coraggio di noi e che vive nella vera violenza, che è quella di un mondo maschile, chiuso e veramente <ride> molto... Eh, Di, di grande omertà, di grande... dove il sangue si pulisce con il sangue, di grande dolore, ecco. Devo forse fermarmi prima per tradurre. Fare dei pezzettini più short, più corti. So it's a very important project and it's very interesting and very powerful because we of course recognize these women and we wanted to shed light on the stories of these real women. They're figures that we can recognize, figures who've grown up in Calabria in this really closed world of the omerta, the mafia code of silence, this sense of violence. 
And of course, these are women who are very brave. They face up to that violence. They have no fear at all, but instead, they have this really strong sense of freedom. I pass on this sense of freedom, that character at least, to my daughter in the, in the series. And so there is this real sense of standing up to the Calabrian Mafia, the Ndrangheta, and giving voice to the women. We shed light on these women who are so very, very brave, and it's them that we have to say thank, thank you to. People say that we're brave every day, but they're the ones who are really the bravest, these women who live in this particular closed world. And of course, um, it's based on a true story. They had the book from Alex Perry, the script. Um, but did you go and do some of your own research? Was it all there in the material? And did you feel any pressure to do justice to these real women's stories? Eh, allora, la storia è liberamente ispirata a questi fatti di cronaca. Eh, noi sicuramente, ad esempio io e Valentina, abbiamo lavorato spesso insieme perché i nostri personaggi si, si incontrano e ci siamo confrontate tanto nella ricerca, nella ricostruzione del, di queste storie. Ci sono tanti elementi anche su internet, per esempio riguardo al mio personaggio ci sono proprio delle registrazioni, eh, ho potuto sentire la voce di, di questa persona, e, è stato molto forte riuscire a sentire la voce e sicuramente c'è tanta pressione, c'è stata e c'è tuttora tanta pressione perché il mio desiderio è quello di poter restituire chiaramente attraverso i miei occhi, attraverso la mia esperienza, però poter restituire ehm, e dare onore alla, diciamo, alla vita di questa persona, alla lotta silente, perché questa è la cosa che spesso mi colpisce e mi fa rabbia, è che queste battaglie sono silenziose, non si vedono, e, e quindi la possibilità di poterle raccontare e, mi, mi, mi rende felice, mi, mi rende orgogliosa, e, e spero che appunto se ne possa parlare e che arrivi a più persone possibili. <coughs> well, it's a story that was freely inspired by the news story, by the actual real facts. And I work very often with Valentina because our characters meet each other. So we met a lot together and we did research together trying to reconstitute these figures and find out more about them. There's a lot of information available on the internet, as a matter of fact. There's even recordings, and I was able to hear the actual voice of my character, and that was very moving and very powerful to be able to hear the voice, because what I wanted to do with my eyes, with my way of looking at things, with my experience, was to pay tribute to this figure, to her life, and to her struggle, which is a silent struggle. That's what really strikes me, and also makes me quite angry, because often this kind of struggle is silent and is invisible. This was an opportunity to tell the story of these women, and I'm very happy and proud to have been able to do that, and I hope we'll be able to get that across to as many people as possible. That's all we've had time for, but thank you so much for sharing all that with me, and can't wait for everyone else to see this incredible series. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.